In this video, we're going to learn about the memmove function in C. So the memmove function is used to copy a block of memory from one location to another. And the function is defined inside the string.h library. So the first thing we'll do is include string.h. Now to define a block of memory, we'll declare an array called source. And we'll initialize it with the values from 1 to 10. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll also declare an array called destination that will also be able to store 10 integers. Next, we'll use memmove to copy the data in the source array to the destination array. So we'll have memmove, and the first argument is a pointer to the destination. So we'll have destination. When we use an array like this as an argument where a pointer is expected, we say that the array decays to a pointer. So what we're really passing here is not so much the array destination. What we're really passing is the memory address where the array destination is stored in memory. The second argument is the pointer to the source in memory. So we're going to have source. And again, what we're really providing to the function is the memory address of the source array. The last argument is the number of bytes to copy from the source to the destination. We have 10 integers in our source. And let's say we want to copy all those integers to the destination. What we'll do is multiply the size in bytes that it takes to store an integer with size of int by 10. So basically we have 10 integers and size of int is going to give us the number of bytes required to store an integer. And so this is going to copy 10 integers worth of data from source to destination, which will copy all these integers from the source to the destination. Next, we can print out the destination array just to make sure the copy actually occurred correctly. So we'll have four int i is equal to zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus, and we'll print out each element in our destination array to verify the copy occurred okay. So we'll have destination percent %d is equal to percent %d backslash n, we'll output the index i, and we'll output the value at that index. So we can save this, and if we compile and run our program, we're going to find that the destination array does contain those values from one to 10. Now the name memmove might make you think that the data is actually moved from the source in the sense that the source array no longer would contain these values. Source will still contain these values though. Really the data is copied from the source to the destination. We can see that if we print out the source array. So we'll just copy this and we'll paste it here. And I'm gonna change destination to be source. And we'll print out the source array as well. And if we save and compile and run our program, we're going to find that the source array still contains the values from one to 10. So mem move doesn't mean that the original data is somehow gone. It's still there. Mem move is actually going to perform a copy. Now there already is a mem copy function in C. It's also in the string.h library. So we could use that instead of mem move. I could say mem copy here. And if we save, compile, and run our program, we're going to get the exact same result as before, where the destination array contains the values from 1 to 10, and those values were copied from the source array. So what's the point of using mem move if there's this mem copy function that will also copy the data? So the big difference is that mem move can handle overlapping destination and source blocks of memory. Whereas for mem copy, if the destination and source blocks of memory overlap, the behavior is undefined. It won't necessarily fail, but the behavior is undefined. So we can't count on mem copy working if our destination and source blocks of memory overlap. Now, if our blocks of memory are not going to overlap, we should use mem copy instead because mem copy may have higher performance if we're not sure whether or not the destination and source blocks of memory will overlap, then we should use memmove because it's guaranteed to be safe. So an example of blocks of memory overlapping would be something like this. 
let's have as the new destination pointer when calling the memmove function source plus two. So source plus two is now our destination pointer. Source plus two is using pointer arithmetic. What we're supplying as the new destination memory address is this address of this index in our source array. So we're going to copy to this index onwards in the array. What we're going to copy from though is this index onwards, the start of our array onwards. So what we'll do is copy this time eight integers and we're going to copy eight integers from this index onwards, which should be these integers to this index onwards, which should be these array elements. So those blocks overlap. What we should end up with if the copy happens okay is this. We should have one and two still at the start of the array. But from this position onwards, where we're copying two, we should have these eight integers. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to complete our array. So we'll save and compile and run our program. And we see we do get the correct answer here with the source array containing one and two, followed by one, two, three, four onwards up to eight. So with mem copy, we can copy a source block of memory to a destination block of memory, even when those blocks of memory overlap. Whereas with mem copy, the behavior would be undefined. So this is how we can use the memmove function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.